Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at a positives and a positive phrases. As you might remember, an appositive is a noun or a pronoun that renames or identifies another noun or pronoun right beside it. It gives extra information not essential to the meaning of the sentence. Commas are used to set off the rest of the sentence. The appositive is diagrammed in parentheses on the sentence base, the main line, directly after the noun that is renamed. Let's take a look at this one. The very tall man in the corner is my teacher, Mr. Dalton. Who or what is this about? It's about man. Man does what? Exists as. Exists as what? Teacher, predicate nominative. And then the appositive is the predicate nominative, Mr. Dalton, because that renames teacher. Which teacher? My teacher in the corner is a prepositional phrase modifying man tall man the man how tall very tall notice the sentence base simple subject simple predicate predicate nominative and then our positive predicate nominative and a positive phrase consists of an appositive and its modifiers my teacher is Mr. Dalton, the very tall man in the corner. The very tall man in the corner is the appositive phrase. It has a prepositional phrase in it. Here is the actual appositive right there. All of these modifiers are part of that appositive, and you'll notice how they are diagrammed below the word man, not below the words Mr. Dalton. The next few sentences are written correctly, but diagrammed incorrectly. Let's take a look at this first sentence. Bugs Bunny, my favorite cartoon character, is 76 years old. Who or what is this about? It's about Bugs Bunny. What does Bugs Bunny do? He exists, so that's is. Exists as what? Exists as old. That's a predicate adjective. What kind of old? Years old. What kind of years or how many years? 76. What's another word for Bugs Bunny? Oh, it's this a positive character. What kind of character? Cartoon. What kind of character? Favorite. Which character? My. So this is diagrammed incorrectly. There's a couple things wrong here. First of all, the appositive goes in parentheses, not the simple subject. The second thing is, is all these modifiers go underneath the appositive. They can't go under Bugs Bunny. So we're going to have this long sentence base, Bugs Bunny, character, which is the appositive, is old what kind of old years old how many years 76 okay now we have my character favorite character and cartoon character so the appositive phrase is my favorite cartoon character. The appositive is character. And you can tell, or you can see rather, that all of the modifiers are underneath the appositive. They're not underneath the simple subject. I visited Charleston, the most amazing city. Who or what is this about? It's about I. What did I do? I visited... I visited what? Charleston. Okay, so I have my sentence base, but I have this appositive phrase, the most amazing city. What's another word for Charleston? City. Charleston is a city. What kind of city? Amazing city. What kind of amazing? Most amazing. Which city? The city. So this is diagrammed incorrectly because they have the modifiers 
modifying Charleston, and they need to be modifying city, which should be on the sentence base line. So let's re-diagram this. I visited Charleston, and then I need to have my positive up here for the direct object, city, the city, amazing city, most amazing city. You baked macaroons, my favorite cookie. You baked macaroons, my favorite cookie. Who or what is this about? It's about you. What did you do? You baked. What did you bake? Macaroons. What's another word for macaroons? That would be cookie. So that is the positive. What kind of cookie? Favorite. Which cookie? My. So my favorite cookie is the positive phrase. So this is diagrammed incorrectly. They put the positive in front of macaroons, which is the direct object. The direct object does not go in parentheses. And then they have the modifiers modifying just right in the middle of that line. And you want it directly under the direct object, a positive, not under the actual direct object. So, so we have you baked macaroons. And then our positive is cookie. My and favorite. My cookie. My favorite cookie. These next sentences are written correctly and they have correct diagram frames. So go ahead and complete these. It says Aunt Lola will bring sushi, my favorite food. So Auntie Lola is who it's about. What will she do? She will bring, she will bring what? Sushi. And then what's another word for sushi? Food, so that's our positive. What kind of food? Favorite, what kind of food? My. So let's go ahead and diagram this on the sentence base. We'll bring sushi food, good, they have the modifiers underneath the positive, which is what we're looking for. Auntie Lola will bring sushi, my favorite food. Bobby was drinking chocolate milk, a healthy and delicious snack. Who or what is this about? This is about Bobby. What does Bobby do? Was drinking. Was drinking what? Milk. What kind of milk? Chocolate milk. What's another name for milk? Drink. So drink is our positive for the direct object. What kind of drink? Delicious drink. What kind of drink? Healthy drink. How many drinks? A drink. And connects two words. It connects healthy and delicious. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Bobby was drinking milk, what kind, chocolate. Another word for milk is our positive, it's a drink. A drink, healthy drink, delicious drink, and mom's gift, a hand knit sweater, and Cheryl's present, a box of stationery are my favorite gifts. Who or what is this about? It's about gift. It's also about present. So we have simple subject one and simple subject two. What do they do? They exist as. Exist as what? Gifts. That's a predicate nominative. What kind of gifts? Favorite gifts. What kind of gifts? My gifts. What's another word for gift? Sweater. So sweater is the positive. What kind of sweater? Hand knit. How many sweaters? Uh, so a hand, knit, a hand knit sweater is an a positive phrase. Um, what, which gift? Mom's gift. Okay, now we have another a positive phrase, a box of stationery. What's another name for present? 
it is box. So that is our other positive. How many boxes? A box. What kind of box? Of stationary. Which box? Which present? Cheryl's. And connects two things. It connects mom's gift, a hand knit sweater, and it connects Cheryl's present, a box of stationery. So now that we have broken down this sentence, let's go ahead and fill it out. Gift, sweater, present, box, are, gifts, my gifts, my favorite gifts, mom's gift, Cheryl's pr present, a box of stationery, a sweater, hand knit sweater. My crazy Aunt Kathy, the blonde lady in roller skates, is celebrating her 70th birthday. My crazy Aunt Kathy, the blonde lady in the roller skates, is celebrating her 70th birthday. Who or what is this about? It's about Aunt Kathy. What does she do? She is celebrating. So that's present continuous tense. What is she celebrating? She's celebrating birthday. Which birthday? 70th. Which birthday? Her birthday. Which Aunt Kathy? Crazy. Which Aunt Kathy? My. Now we have in a positive phrase, the blonde lady in the roller skates. What's another name for Kathy? It's lady. What kind of lady? Blonde lady. What? Which lady? The lady. In the roller or in roller skates is a prepositional phrase. Prepositional in object of the preposition skates. What kind of skates? Roller. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Aunt Kathy, lady, is celebrating birthday. Which one? Her. 70th, my Aunt Kathy, crazy Aunt Kathy, the lady, blonde lady, in skates, roller. She will probably buy the cheaper car, the red one with cloth seats. Who or what is this about? It's about she. What will she do? She will buy. She will buy what? Car. So we have our, our sentence base. Will buy car. What's another name for car? One. So the positive phrase is the red one with cloth seats. Okay, how will she buy it? Probably. Which car? The car. Which car? Cheaper car. So one. How many ones? The. What color one? Red. So the red one. We have a prepositional phrase with cloth seats and that modifies one so it's with seats cloth plant the daylilies near sharon's flowers the red and blue tulips who or what is this about it's about you you're the one that should be doing this what is you do what is you doing you plant, so that is our simple predicate. Plant what? Daylilies, that's our direct object. So we have you plant daylilies. 
Okay, which daylilies? The. Then we have plant them near Sharon's flowers. That is a prepositional phrase. And then we have an appositive phrase that is modifying or renaming the object of the preposition. So near is the preposition. The object of the preposition is flowers. Which flowers? Sharon's, or Shannon's rather, Shannon's flowers. What's another name for flowers? Tulips. Which tulips? Yellow tulips. Which tulips? Red tulips. Which tulips? The tulips. The red yellow okay and connects two things it connects red and tulips okay for 3a 3b 3c 3d 3e and 3f you need to come up with original sentences that have a positives make sure you are paying attention to how these sentence diagrams look because sometimes you're modifying the appositive, and other times you are not. For number four, we have several sentences. We have, my much older sister Daria is leaving for college next week. Nathan, my oldest bro brother, visited the Big Apple, New York City. Charlie, the big black Newfoundland, and Max, the noisy little beagle, are my favorite dogs. My brother Abel was hiding in the cellar, our favorite hiding place. The Library of Congress, the largest library in the world, houses 16 million books and 838 miles of bookshelves. The movie Victoria and Albert is about Queen Victoria and her husband, Prince Albert. I'll diagram 4C with you. Remember, this one is Charlie, the big black Newfoundland, and Max, the noisy little beagle, are my favorite dogs. Who or what is this about? It's about Charlie. And it's about Max. So we have simple subject one and simple subject two. What do they do? They exist as. Exist as what? Dogs. So that's our predicate nominative. What kind of dogs? Favorite dogs. What kind of dogs? My dogs. Then we have an appositive phrase. The big black Newfoundland. So... Newfoundland is a positive number one. What kind of Newfoundland? Black one. What kind? Big one. Which one? The. We have another positive phrase, the noisy little beagle. What's another word for Max? It's beagle. So that is our second positive. What kind of beagle? Little beagle. What kind of beagle? Noisy. Which beagle? The. The word and connects two things. It connects Charlie, the big black Newfoundland, and it connects Max, the noisy little beagle. So now let's go ahead and diagram this. Try to make sure to leave space for the appositive phrases as well. Okay, so we have our simple subject one, Charlie, with our positive, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, the big black, the big black. Our second simple subject with our second positive and our positive phrase, Beagle. The noisy little, the noisy little, and then Anne connects the two.